dig the hole just up there. Okay. It'll be dark soon. I better start digging. I'm not so sure about this. What happens when it is discovered? When it's discovered? For fuck's sake, son, who the fuck is going to find it out here? All right, enough of the fucking. Well, you ask some damn stupid questions sometimes. So from now on, I'll give you stupid answers. You can be a real arsehole sometimes, you know? You always get me to these stupid dilemmas. It was your fault that we got sent down that time, and it's your fault that we're in this mess now. You're just jealous. I got my dick wet with her. And as usual, you didn't get your own way. You son of a bitch. How can you say that? I didn't want to take her. We didn't need a hostage in the first place. Let alone rape her. I can't believe I needed one for an all. You talk me to shit sometimes, you really do. I hate myself for getting wrapped up in your twisted games. We should be heading for the fucking airport, not sitting in some pissing wood bearing a poor innocent girl. You just stop a minute. You sound like a whining schoolgirl. We can't go to the airport, the fucking police will be there. Just chill, Winston. Enjoy life on the outside. At least we're not banged up in some shitty cell. Well, not for now anyway. Well, it's only a matter of time till we get caught. We always get caught. Have faith, my friend. Have faith. You know, sitting out here reminds me of my old man. We used to take our rifles out every Sunday into the woods. I used to bet my pocket money I could get a deer before him. The bastard would always win and take my pocket money. What the fuck has that got to do with anything? Oh, chill, man. And what a bastard your dad sounds taking your pocket money. Just chill. I bet it's a pet anyway. You know, I had a lot of respect for him. Sounds like a bastard to me. Shut your mouth! Who are you to talk about my dad in that way? Sorry, bud. I didn't mean anything by it. It just sounded like he was a bit rough on you, you know? He was. I had to become a man at a young age. What happened? Since he left, Mum went downhill. She went depressed and... She hit the bottle. I have never heard you talk like this before. All these years we have been best friends. Not once ever spoke about your family and home life. Well, what's the point in dwelling on the past? What's done is done, and that's that. I never realized you had it so bad. What happened to your mom? She basically put herself in an early grave. She was a fucking dirty, filthy whore. You know, she used to bring men home from the pub every night. I never knew if they were fucking paying her or if she really was a whore. I could hear the fucking banging, the fucking moans, the groans, the headboard banging on my fucking bedroom. My bedroom was next to hers. You know what, she basically fucking smoked and drank herself to death. Lung cancer. Liver damage. She died a painful and slow death. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know what to say. I'm. Uh... Oh, she, she was a fucking filthy whore! I don't want to mourn over her now. I need a piss. Okay. Cool. What the fuck? Hey man, there's some fucking weirdo walking about in the woods like a twat. What? Some fucking prick walking about in the woods. I think he's heading in this direction. Shit. What if he sees the body? That's what I'm trying to tell you, you fucking twat. Okay, don't panic. Get it together. Right. That's it. We will have to kill him. I'm not gonna knock somebody off for the sake of it. It's not for the fucking sake of it, you stupid wanker. Give me a fucking knock. Fucking give it. The fucking gun. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh.
I got your coffee. Oh, thanks, darling. You're a star. So how's life? Any more word from... <coughs> no, and I don't care. In fact, you can go to hell for all I care. I never want to see him again, ever. Well, as long as you're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Anyway, I don't want to talk about men. They're all wankers, and the world would be a better place without them. Been on a shopping spree to cheer myself up. Oh, good for you. Get anything nice? Oh, um, you know, not really. Just some tops, some G-strings. Mm. Some sexy ones. So what I do, Mr. Wright, and he's rich, I can become a lady of leisure, and I don't have to work anymore. I thought you said all men are wankers. They are, but... Got to be a decent one out there somewhere for me, hasn't there? I'm sure there is. And sooner or later, you'll meet him and you'll live happily ever after. Are you taking the piss? Life isn't black and white, you know. It's not some fairy tale. I do hope it's sooner rather than later. I need a good fucking shag. Come Mel, keep it down. Someone might hear you. Oh, what? Maybe Mr. Wright? Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you? How's your love life? Well, you know, same old. Nothing exciting to report. Oh, no wedding bells then? No. I wish. I don't think he's ever going to propose. Oh, why not, babe? You're a great catch. You're sexy, smart, attractive, got a good career, and I bet you're well good in bed. <laughs> you really know how to put things, Carmel. I'm not that attractive. I'm only manager of a shitty shop. But as for being good in bed, well, I'll leave that to your imagination. Oh, you tease. You shouldn't put yourself down like that, you know. Take some of your own advice. You're a manic depressive. You need to cheer up and get over David. He was a real arsehole, treated you like shit, and, well, you could do a damn lot better. Jesus, I didn't know you had it in you to be like that. Like what? A bitch. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I was, I was just trying to, like, cheer you up a bit. Listen, I'm only joking. It's <laughs> just me and David. We had it really good. We had some great times. Really great times. It's just, it's only been two weeks and I miss it already. You can't be serious. How can you forgive him after what he did? I can't forgive him, but I can't just switch off my feelings, you know. He used to make me feel so good about myself sometimes. I don't know what to say. I'd find that so hard if that was me. Listen, forget it. How do we get onto the subject of that bastard David again, anyway? Sorry. How's your mum? Oh, yeah, she's all right. She's just getting over a nasty little cold. Oh, that's good. Mm. And your dad? Yeah, he's all right, just plodding along. Went on a date the other day. A date? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Tell me more. Oh, there's not that much to tell. He, um, yeah, he doesn't tell me that much. But anyway, the thought of my dad with a woman. Oh, yeah. It's like, ooh, he only ever had sex with us. That resulted in me. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we need to get the fuck out of town. It's only a matter of time before we're caught again. What are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Chill, man. We need to find ourselves a nice hostage for insurance purposes. That way the pigs won't be able to gun us down so easily. Right, okay. So where the hell are we going to get a hostage from? Huh? We'll just drive into the next town, take a look around. I'm sure there's something there that'll take a fancy. It's important, we're fucked without it. I'm not so sure about this shit. I think we should concentrate on getting the fuck out of the country rather than worrying about some fucking hostage that I am sure you just want as a plate or you sick fuck. Watch your mouth, you son of a bitch! Don't talk to me like that, have some respect! Just think about it. The police will be at the airports, the harbours, the train stations. But what are we gonna do? If we had a hostage, the police wouldn't be able to kill us. They need to protect the innocent. God, you fucking thick bastard! Piss off, you cunt! Look at it! Look at what these sick fucks have done! No wonder they were serving life terms. If they were in other countries, they'd be fucking well executed! Jesus Christ. He can't even save them. I also have to view this. What's that? It's some sick video from the evidence folder. At least it will give us a clue of what we're fucking dealing with. Is it recording? 
recording? Yes. Watch this. <laughs> Should be at Crawley soon. We'll find ourselves a nice hostage, have a drink, and then be on our way. Have a drink? And how exactly do we have time for that? There's always time for a drink. What's the rush? Once we get our hostage, we'll be safe. I doubt that very much. Our pictures will be all over the newspaper and TV before long. So? Let them. I've always wanted to be famous. What if they put a reward out for us? You're so fucking stupid. Do you think they want to promote the fact we've just escaped the Nick? Yeah, whatever. You're real pen in the arse, you know? You always get me to such shit. What the fuck? More like I'm getting you out of the shit, arsehole. Yeah, whatever. No, brother, this reminds me of old times, when we used to go camping. All those road trips. Fucking great memories. You really come across like a fucking faggot sometimes, you know? Oh. You know, sometimes I really think you want to slip you on it up the arse crack. <laughs> fuck off. You can't handle my cock, sunshine. Get the fuck out of here. I heard the stories about your pathetic maggot. Change! Change now? Are you demanding change from me? I'm starving, I ain't eating in a week. What load of fucking shit, son? You just want change to go and get your fucking booze. I'm hungry, I ain't eating in a week. So then go get yourself some roadkill. There's plenty out there. Fuck you. What did you say? Fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking wanker! Chill, man, let's go! What? Fuck you! Selfish cunts. Hey, asshole! Eat this scum! Let's go, bruv. Are you out of your fucking mind? No! That's one less fucking retard left on this stinking planet! I can't believe you sometimes. I really can't. I've heard it all before. Let's just get the fuck out of here and get the show on the road. Hey babe, only me. Just seeing how you are, like. I miss you so much, Chuck. If you can find it somewhere in your heart to forgive me. Look, I know I was wrong. I know what I did was... Just give us a call with your love. I fucking love you, girl. Bastards. Where do you think they're heading? No doubt they're trying to flee the country. They won't get far. Not with all the men that we have waiting for them.
No doubt they're trying to head to the next town. That's just a small, quiet little town. What do they want to do there? We've got a lot to learn, kid. They're going to get themselves a hostage. No doubt it'll be a female one. God save her soul. Did you see that fucking asshole's face? When I blew his fucking head off. Yeah, man. Well, it's pretty cool. What a fucking prick, though. That son of a bitch really pissed me off. I wanted to rip that motherfucker's eyes out and skull fuck him. You know what? You're too fucking messy when it comes to shit like this. You don't want to be cool and calm about it like me. Piss off? You're a fucking nut. I'm a fucking nut. You're a fucking nut. No, you're a fucking nut. No, you're a motherfucking fucking nut. No, you're a fucking cocksucking, ass-bagging, shit-licking, fudge-packing nut. What the fuck did you say? Whoa, what the fuck, man? I'm driving, do you want us to die? I said, what the fuck did you say? Nothing, man, I... It didn't I... sound like nothing to me, boy. Jesus, man. I didn't mean anything by it, okay? Sorry. Really? Honest, man. Oh, it was just... Just forget it, it was just stupid-ass comment. <laughs> I fucking got you, didn't I? Yeah. It was real corker. Look, we're being crawly soon. We'll find ourselves a nice boozer. Maybe some hot chicks. Piece of ass. Oh yeah. Oh, I think we found our cutie pie. Whew. Stay close to it. Don't make it too fucking obvious. You know what the problem is with this day and age, Charles? No, sir. What's that? No respect, Charles. There's too many do-gooders in power. This country is going downhill. Youths, they're out of control. And parents, well, they just yobs themselves nowadays. That's a powerful statement, sir. Yeah. But watch, when we get Quaid and Kirk, they'll be out within five years for being good inside. But when they're in their five star cells with their colour TVs, they'll, you know, they'll just chill. Probably write a novel about how sick they were in their young days, and then get it published and become millionaires. And when they're out, for good behaviour, they'll have fantastic cars and brilliant mansions to go to. All for killing and abusing women. It makes me pig fucking sick. All right, sir, calm down. Well, it makes my blood boil. I want to kill these sons of bitches. I've never seen such sick photos or videos in all my time on the force. These bastards are animals. They're not human. We're here, sir, we're here. Now then. Let's go and find these assholes and show them we don't take no goddamn shit. You said it, sir. You said it. I think we should get in there and get that pussy we've been after, eh? What? Now? And do what? Hang on. Are you saying let's go in there and fuck her? Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. You said you're a horny motherfucker. Let's get in there and get horny with her, motherfucker. You're out of your fucking mind. What? And you've only just realised.
Yes. Shut up. She could be a hostage. Don't you think she looks hot? It doesn't matter if that hostage is hot or not. If we're gonna have a hostage, we may as well have a hot one. Don't want the fun we can have with her. I don't like where you're going with this. I think you should just piss off and get by. Sometimes. I can't believe you wouldn't take that hot bitch. Sometimes I think you're a real fucking faggot. Yeah, and you can talk. You know what, son? Talk like that is gonna get you into big trouble. You know, you've got real problems. Sometimes you scare me. I think you're losing it, Quaid. Losing it? You'd fucking lose it if you had to look after a cocksucker like you 24-7. Look after me? What a crock of bullshit and you know it. The amount of time I've had to save your sorrowful ass. Time and time again, I've had to drag your worthless sorry ass out of the gutter when you sank yourself that low or got yourself up to your neck in horse shit. It's fucking starting to piss me off now. You know, if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in that fucking shitty cell, wasting your fucking sorrowful life away. You seem to forget how many times I've saved your ass. Actually, dickwad, it was your stupid fuck up that got us busted in the first place. Yeah? You wanna go, Sam? Cock! Boys, if you're gonna be like this, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. It's all right, sweetheart. We're only joking, aren't we, Kirkus? Yeah, that's right. We're just being silly as always. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, and you piss me off, oh, bro. Shut up, cunt. Fuck me, look who it is. Oh, the chances of that. Hey, ladies, how's it going? Not too bad, thanks, sweetheart. Oh, I'm doing better. Oh, everything's fine for me, darling. What's up with you then, Luce? Oh, you know, Kenny's being an arsehole as usual. <sighs> well, he is not as much of a cunt as what David is. Yeah, that's true. But I have my suspicions that. What the fuck is doing the dirty on me? Maybe he's gay and fucking a man. Oh, that'd be cool. And you guys can have a threesome. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, sure. Well, if he is fucking a man, it'd probably be an ugly bastard just to make things worse. What makes you say he's fucking somebody else then? Oh, he's not interested in sex anymore. He's always too tired. He can never get it up. Ah, he's doing lots of overtime at the office, you know, this shit. I found a really sexy night for that fuck as well. I laid candles all around the bedroom. I laid naked on the bed, went for him. Do you know what he did? No, go on, tell us. He came in, he said all he could think about was, oh, getting some sleep and cuddling up to me. I had to go and do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's fucking impotent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know my opinion on men. They're all fucking wanking bastards mm -hmm. anyway. They're all them begging to get fucked. They're all gagging for it. I don't know, mate. It looks like an anti-male fest to me. Hey, do you want another drink, mate? Yeah. Let's get the whiskies. I'm in a fucking good mood. Oh, I'll second that, son. <whistles> hey, sweetheart. Two doubles of your finest whiskey. Straight. Just like me. I'm not your hun or your sweetheart. Not yet, but you can be. Fuck off. Hey, steady on. That's no way to treat your customers now, is it? Look, 
You two are becoming a bit of a menace. I can buy you both. Steady, girl. We didn't mean anything by it. Hey, how about you buy yourself a drink on me? Yeah? Aww. How about... No. <laughs> she's spicy. But she's a fucking nut on a bit. Who wants a drink? Mm. Oh, I have a nice red wine. Yeah, I make mine a gin and tonic. Gin and tonic? Who the fuck are you? Well, that's a classy drink for life, you know? Yeah, sure. Huh? Oh, I'll have a large white wine, please, babe. Okay. I'll come and help you with those, yeah? Ladies. Man. <laughs> Fucking comedian. I love it. Oh, I bet you do. Now, what is a bunch of sexy, good-looking girls like you doing drinking in a shithole like this? Uh, this is our local one, ain't a shithole. Hey, Ray, who are you? Haven't seen you here before. I can't be anything to you, darling. Don't listen to him. He's a prick. I'm the hunk here. Ah, uh, but you both have small little pricks. <laughs> now, there's no need for that. Are these twats bothering you? Now, Missy, you've just got it in for us tonight, haven't you? I wasn't talking to you. Oh, it's fine, no harm. That's what you think. Can I get uh, two large white wines, large red wine and gin tonic? <laughs> Shit, son. It's just not our night tonight, is it? Oh, shut it, fuck face. Well, good luck. I don't think you'll find that pussy around here. You don't want to wash your fucking mouth up. What, you dragged up? It's a drawer. Oh, so you can fucking suck. That would be £12.50. Fucking hell. Prices have gone up since then. Since when? Oh, we've, we've, we've not long gone back. Anywhere nice? Uh, France. It's nice, but it's fucking full of French people. You're too fucking rude. You done? Creeps. Right, I'm going for a fag. This fucking new law stops me from smoking in a boozer. Alright, bud. See you later. Oh, thank you, darling. I wondered who it was. Why, were you wanking? No! What the fuck, man? Just written all over your red baby face. Like a fucking child caught in the act. Fuck you, man. You're an arsehole. Fucking pinch start that shit again. Where you wake up, don't remember a damn thing, have been sick all over the place. Do you remember that time you actually shit yourself in bed? It's 
the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. All oh, right. And no, to make it worse, I was in the fucking bed with you. Well, you don't have to always bring this shit up. What? A bit embarrassed are you? No. <laughs> Do you know who you're well? What? What? You're just so attractive. I just get these, these urges so I can't control. I just... Where's that girl? She's probably fucking. <laughs> Why the hell are Gemma and Carmel? They're taking ages. Oh, they're probably having it away with each other. <laughs> God knows, they both need to get laid anyway. <laughs> yeah. What are we going to do after this for us? I think we should go for it. Go for what? Try and fuck the ladies. Get the bitches a hostage. For fuck's sake, don't want to hear that shit again. We need a fucking hostage. We can't leave the country without a goddamn hostage. Where are you two for the picture tonight? What the hell did you get up to? What would you like to know? I like that, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> It's another opportunity together. I'm really getting annoyed with you, Quaid. Well, AJ, are you looking for a good time? No thanks, I already had one. Or another? No time, ain't looking for a dirty shitbag like you. Piss off, you retard. I don't think you know who I am, ladies. And <laughs> who's that then? I'm the stud muffin. I bring pleasure to the ladies with my 14 inch cock, which is fantastico. I doubt you have one that big. Mm. Any black man carry meat that big, mate. You racist bitch. No black man is better than me in bed. Look, just piss off, <laughs> you fucking retard. I'm not a retard, but I take offence that to my brother is. You heard them, fuck off. Alright, what's this? I believe this guy. No. You're a fucking faggot. What the fuck do you think you're gonna do? Do you know what you're doing? Do you know what you're doing? Do you know what you're Piss off, men. This gay bastard deserve to die. Let me go, dickhead!
When the fuck did you get here? Fucking driving before the cops get here. Pull over in the service station. I have a real surprise for you. Really nice present. What present? You'll see. So, what's this fucking surprise? Well, get out and I'll show you. Jesus, Quaid! The fuck have you done, man? I knew you'd like it. You want to poke her fucking brains out? Let's go and have some fun. Shut up. Come on, let's go and do this trick. Fuck me, man. Shit's at the fan now. I've lost one of the fucking barrels. Let's do this shit. Now, little girl, you've been very naughty. I'm going to teach you a lesson you're never going to forget. There's no point screaming. No one's going to hear you. Give me a. This is it. Do what I say and you won't get hurt. Don't say Quaid. Not again. Hey man. It's your turn. I don't want to go. I'm fucking telling you to have a go. I said no! And I mean no! Get it? Don't make me go medieval on you. I got her for you. I don't want her. Fuck off. You're gagging for her. I can feel it. Hey! What the fuck are you playing at, man? Chill out! I'm here. You're just nervous. Come on. Take her from behind, man. Look at her. She's so fucking juicy and wet. Get the fuck up, man! Get after her! Fucking there you are! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Where the fuck is she? I'm gonna kill that big fucking motherfucker! Fuck it, man, she's gone. Let's head back to the car. What? I ain't gonna let that bitch get away with this shit! Fuck it, let's go. I can't believe that fucking cow got away, man. Shit! It get me fucking angry. Chill. Don't worry about it. Fuck me! There's the bitch waving us down. There is a god. Let's finish this shit. Ah! Fucking bitch! Got ya! I'm so glad it's you! I'm oh, so glad it's you! Oh, you're so much better than your pathetic friends! Oh, I'm a real man! I'm a real man! It's funny! Son of a 
of a bitch! You saw me! Serves you right, you were thinking we your dick! And not your brain, you fucking brat! Oh, fuck! Son of a fuck! You fucking hoe! Where are you? Got ya!